Hi guys, I'm Amanda, the Botanical Brunette, and welcome to my channel. So today, I wanted to go over how I take care of my Syngonium elbow and basically some like tips and tricks that I've learned along the way and basically her journey and how she's been since my first video that I did like ever on YouTube, which was my about me and top three plants that I will link up here if you haven't seen that. If you've seen that video to now, you, I mean, this plant is just completely just overtook my entire plant area to the point where it now has its own table. It's crazy. But before we get into that, please like and subscribe and share this video. You guys are so amazing. I love you all so much. It helps me out a ton if you could just hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Let's get into it. So, my Syngonium elbow. Here she is. Ah. Oh my beauty queen i love this plant she is like about half my size like literally she's sitting on my lap this thing is just beautiful and i just completely breathtaking like absolutely beautiful the foliage on this plant i mean it speaks for itself i mean it's just amazingly gorgeous so Let's have a little story time. So this plant was a plant that I saw all over the place on Instagram and Facebook and here and there. And I absolutely was like in love with this plant, like more so than the Monster Elbow, which we won't get into that. But I was so in love with this plant. Basically, long story short, I got this plant at Gabriella Plants. After so many attempts to try to get this plant on like ghost launches and like their inventory updates, I finally got this plant and I couldn't be more happy. This plant was pretty big when I bought it, although I did spend about $60 on this plant. Hate to say that. I mean, look at this plant now. Like it was about half the size when I first got it. And in my about me video, you'll see that that was basically like right after I bought it. So it was about that size when I got it. This plant I've had for uh, about six months and it has been one of the easiest, most rewarding plants I've ever had. I water this plant every, I would say seven to 10 days, spring, summer, winter, fall, doesn't matter. I check it every week, like every seven days, just to make sure that it it's okay. Sometimes it needs it, sometimes it's on the on the line. Um, but also it's pretty forgiving, I found. Um, I did notice it did thin out quite a bit throughout the winter, which is normal. A lot of plants will start shedding like their older leaves, which is totally okay. I was starting to panic for a second, but then I was like, Amanda, it's okay. Just know that that is normal and that plants will shed their leaves in the winter. It's a, it's just like when you like, basically like when you shed your hair, it's like kind of like that. So yeah, this plant is just amazing, like completely amazing. I am so happy that I got it. It does, um, for like care, I do have it sitting, like I said, on its own table. <laughs> because it's just so big now but it's not big enough to have in like a standing planter so eventually i'll have to repot this and it will just be kind of a big standalone plant but for now i'm keeping it on a table it's enjoying it it sits in pretty good real estate in my house it has uh, it's sitting in a southeast facing window so i mean great lighting for this plant i wouldn't put it in direct light for like super long but I mean, this plant is just so gorgeous. I've found that a lot of people who even just have like Syngoniums in general tend to absolutely love their plants because they just grow so, so much. I did also learn, it was kind of strange. So I'm in like a Facebook like plant group and someone had mentioned that 
syngoniums are actually invasive plants of Florida. So I was like, <laughs> I have a bad plant. The only problem that I've had with this syngonium is that I did have a really bad case of spider mites. It was my fault. I did put a, another plant that I got from Home Depot right next to it without quarantining it. My bad, I know better than that. But I put it with all my plants and this and my pothos wound up getting a ton of spider mites. So this has had quite a few neem oil showers. <laughs> But it's been a few weeks and I haven't seen any more spider mites on it. So um, yeah, I'll let you know with that. But um, I will probably sometime this summer, probably do a repot with me video and I will be repotting this guy in a probably bigger pot because the pot that it's in, it's, it's kind of like small, but I'm not seeing any roots kind of going through the bottom, so that's a good sign. But I still kind of feel like it's a little bit too small for the syngonium and ooh. <laughs> and especially like once it gets into the summertime and once it really, really starts popping out new growth, it's going to start, you know, needing a bigger pot. So that's my syngonium. If you guys have any questions, comment below and let me know what kind of questions you have about like syngoniums, even like abo plants. One of the biggest reasons why I wanted this abo plant in particular is because, you know, my whole thing is having really easy to care for plants. I knew that syngoniums were easy to care for and I knew that their variegation was stable where the albo or the Thai constellation doesn't always have stable variegation. And I didn't want to spend three to $400 on a plant that could revert. Where this, it does have a lot of variegation, but it also has a lot of green, which you'll want to see like eating the plant, which you'll want to see in the plant. And the green leaves are just as beautiful as the is the ones with the white and the green ones like sometimes you'll even notice like like i'll show you guys this green leaf like you can see the like it's like still variegated but it's green it's like a minty variegation absolutely a beautiful plant that you can add to your collection it is pretty easy it's getting i feel like it's kind of getting easier to find um because the hype is kind of going down now people are all about the philodendron rio but yeah, again, just a, a really easy, rare plant that you can add to your collection if you want a no frills rare plant. So that's it for today. I hope you guys have a great day and 